right, it's a good day to make a video. It's uh, December 23rd, I believe, right, right, right around the corner from Christmas here, 2020, the year of the pandemic. Got a compound bow right here. Somebody was asking me about it. Let's take a look. This is an older bow, I'm pretty sure. And I run into the problem that I always, or not always, but very often run into, is that I can't tell what the specs are on this. I tried to Google it. It's an interesting looking bow made by Martin, which, you know, if you know, is a, it's a good brand of compound bows. This is called a Lynx XRG Series 1200. It says Hybrid Bias on it by Martin. Maybe it's a Lynx brand made by Martin. I don't know, but it, it, nevertheless, this looks like to me it's been painted camo. And you know, what I'm trying to figure, is, as I say about a lot of things that I try to sell on eBay that I do have to do here for my job, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert with compound bows. And now this says Martin Archery on that, uh, on that little, uh, whatever you call that, uh, hex nut or whatever, Allen wrench spot. It says the same thing down here in this Martin Lynx. You know, when you see all of this, It does seem to be painted by Martin above this camo, so this could be. Let me just go over this whole bow. I'm gonna go over this whole bow. Um, this could be, uh, you know, factory paint job. Um, I really don't know. It's got to be an older bow. You see, it says Martin Archery on that too, as well. I do believe Martin Archery. And then I noticed this one up here, this is the part I've already gone over, going all the way up here. Uh, this one's got this plastic piece, a rubber piece, kind of covering the whole nut. Look how small these cams are. And then there's something here attached to it. I'm gonna get, is that, is that a stabilizer? Is that what they call that? I'm not sure. But look, this is really neat right here is this Martin. like a tiger on that part you got your sight it appears to be pretty stout i can tell you that i, I don't know what the draw weight is or any of that uh guy was asking about the axle to axle and i i i, I measured it and i think it's roughly 41 and 3 8 from inside to inside you got this piece right here that says limb saver right here another nut um, with the cut thing the covers the problem is and what we were looking for and what you know the problem that I run into quite often with these bows is there's no tag that shows the specs on it and that's what I'm going over right now to try to show you and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take pictures of it but uh you think I'm out here talking to myself? I'm making I'm making a video. <laughs> but uh we just don't see the specs tag. It's just missing from this, unfortunately. And uh I wish we had it. And I tried to look this up online, this model. But I just couldn't come up with much for it. It looks like, I mean, perhaps, I, I, I would say that's probably where it should be. That's what I think. Um, it almost looks like something got scraped off there. If you can see, there's a line, right? I don't know if I can show it like right, straight across from my finger right there. Right up through there. You can see there's a little scuff. I don't know if the camera will focus on it just right. But anyways, I'm going to go back. I'm going to take some pictures of this. But uh, I hope this helps. 
This is, I can't tell what this piece says. I think that's a stabilizer, but I'm not really sure. I hope this helps.